I truly wish that you, the viewer of this video, never let go of being a child. Around, I don't know, five months ago, I made a, this den in the woods with my friends, and that seems like a pretty childish thing to do, right? Now, I don't personally like the word childish all that much, because making it in the woods, by some objective definition that exists out there, it's something that kids are supposed to do when you're 11, 10, 12. But it was fun when we made this den. It was nice to spend time with friends in summer. It was nice to just have something to do if we were bored. So why is something like that looked down upon in society? It's like we're supposed to grow up in some kind of way, but who actually wants to grow up? Who would genuinely want to return to the times when they were a child, when they had no responsibilities, no worries? And while responsibilities and worries are, are inevitable in becoming an adult, never letting go of your childish self, who you were as a child, is very important to me personally because I'm going to end up taking on responsibilities. I'm going to end up having more stresses and more things that I have to actually worry about and take care of in the future. I don't want to have to grow up to actually be able to experience that. I want to be able to keep my childish little inner self somewhere inside me. I don't want to have to get rid of that to be able to take care of certain responsibilities and certain things that are happening in my life. I want to still be able to act like a child as and when I want to because it's pretty fun to for me and to act like you have zero zero cares in the world it's like a little bit of an escapism in a way but it's actually more physically invigorating more sort of aligning to who you used to be as a person and if you think about 2000 years ago that's what people in tribes would have done on a daily basis they would have had to climb trees to get the fruit and they would have had to be kids forever because it would have been the, the young kids the young boys that were inside of the tribe that would have been climbing the trees to grab the fruit and maybe they would have had to do that until they grew up to become men and have children and then they've passed that responsibility down onto them that's how it would have worked i don't know two thousand years ago three thousand years ago and i'm just like making a guess and assumption here that could be wrong but it seems logical logical that that would be what would have happened i've personally never really wanted to go about the way of growing up like society wanted me to and getting a job and getting a mortgage and having kids and just doing everything that society wants you to do like you're some kind of pawn and or a cog in the grand machine of earth I've never wanted to be like that. I've always wanted to be something a bit more. Not that I feel like I'm special and I should be different because I feel like everyone should have a sort of specialty or unique sort of mindset thing about them. And I've always wanted to just continuously be adventurous and be a kid. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like the general wider view of society is that there is, is that you should grow up. You should sort of gradually get out of your childish ways when you're like 12, 13 and never really look back and you'll only be able to look back on them with sort of nostalgia and memories instead of actually being able to experience that kind of thing again and there'll be random times as an adult if you sort of do take that view where you have to grow up that you will experience being a child again and it'll be one of the funnest moments of your life i always love just playing it or playing manhunt or just doing some stupidly childish thing because it's just fun because it's you're acting like a child again and children are always so happy before they seem to have everything beaten out of them by school and by society by telling them they have to do this and that and the other and i just don't want that to happen to me and i don't want that to happen to you either and i just recommend that you take the mindset on that you don't have to grow up you can just be as childish as you like as long as you like you don't have to be like the old wise man as a 90 year old you can be a 90 year old and still act childish and still climb trees and still build dens if you so wish it's completely up to you and it's completely your choice and i don't think anyone should have the right to tell you that that is childish and that that is objectively wrong because that is not objectively wrong nothing is objectively wrong when it comes to how you want to act and the things that you want to do the things that you enjoy it just doesn't make sense that society has to put such a pressure on kids to grow up and to not not be able to experience that fun sort of childish existence ever again i mean i i was probably around 12 13 when the sort of covid lockdowns hit and i can definitely say that i wasn't able to experience being a child and acting like a child and being childish and having that kind of childish fun when i was in lockdown because i was stuck inside all day doing schoolwork or whatever playing video games or something something other like that i was never able to experience that kind of fun so now when i would be getting out of lockdown 15 16 at least me and the friends that i had at the time 
we all still like would do stuff that you do when you were 12 13 or at least want to sometimes we just wouldn't because everyone else would think it weird but we would all definitely want to do that kind of stuff because we we missed out on that kind of opportunity when we were 12 13 and in lockdown stuck inside of our homes i think that's one explanation that could potentially be had for like me acting that certain way but maybe if we never had covid and lockdowns never existed i still wouldn't act like a child and i would have had to grow up but that gives me shivers to actually think like that because I just love doing things like building a den, climbing a tree. It's just fun. And I don't think anyone else can really say anything against that. Like it's objectively wrong. It's fun. Like if you're gonna get pissed off at that, cry about it to be honest. Because otherwise you're just a bit of an idiot if you're gonna say that it's objectively wrong for you to climb a tree. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can eat the sugar, you can have the, the drinks. Nothing's gonna change anything that's scientifically set in stone about something or other whether it is a vape whether it is a cigarette whether it is an alcohol alcoholic drink whether it is sugar the scientific things that those do that is set in stone but nothing is but nothing is objective in the things that you sort of do like you can choose to like drink alcohol you can choose to vape and that's that's a choice that one makes nothing changes the science behind those things and nothing changes the science behind climbing a tree i guess but someone please do tell me what science is behind climbing a tree other than some kind of endorphin release or serotonin release or whatever because it seems pretty childish and it seems pretty fun to me personally and i really do enjoy that kind of stuff and i know a lot of people do but a lot of people have to like repress it because they have to grow up so yeah that's my other rant for today done and with that i recommend subscribing because i love this community of young tribal people who are willing to improve themselves so much more than they already have and good luck